Well, as the Premier took to the airwaves, some members of her cabinet had already hit the road touring central Vancouver Island. For them, health care and job creation were at the top of the agenda. Four ministers blitzing the island from Comox Valley to Ladysmith. As CTV Scott Cunningham shows us, it leads some to believe that what we might see is the precursor to a spring election. Behind this glass is the future of cancer treatment in Nanaimo. Today, four Liberal cabinet ministers celebrated the completion of a $1.8 million upgrade to the city's cancer clinic, including a new pharmacy. And there was little confusion about who was behind the achievement. It's gotten so much better in the last 11 years. Well, who's been in power the last 11 years? The NDP didn't put a nickel into this building. I think what's important is that even in today's economic uncertainty and financial instability, that pro the province of British Columbia still has a good story to tell. The story wasn't over. Next, the ministers descended on the Saltair Mill in Ladysmith. Like many in B.C., closures have loomed large. But this mill is not going anywhere, as the Liberal ministers joined owners Western Forest Products while they invested $16 million back into the company. It's going to protect jobs on Vancouver Island, 140 jobs at the mill. It's going to increase mill pr productivity by 15%. From success stories at island hospitals to job creation at mill. Today's tour has a very good news feel, but the NDP say it was all about timing. Well, the BC Liberals are out and about on Vancouver Island because they know they're in serious political trouble. The opposition are questioning the timing of the island tour, saying warm and fuzzy photo opportunities are falling in a place where liberal red is scarce. And also, after polls are showing the party is lagging behind the NDP. The good news announcements, I suspect, are largely re-announcements of previous announcements, uh, minor good news stories. I think it shows how desperate the government is. You know, everyone can speculate uh, when polling numbers come out, uh, and you've heard the cliche the only poll that really counts is the one on election day and and that really is true whether it is political posturing or not few can argue better cancer treatment and a stable workforce are a bad thing the rest can be sorted out tomorrow when the spring session kicks off in victoria scott cunningham ctv news nanaimo